Good afternoon. Welcome to episode 424. Why coaching with me is way more powerful and way more effective than simply swiping a dating app, or worse that effect. So before I jump into the topic, let me start by introducing myself. My name is Barry Selby. I'm a best-selling author, speaker, and relationship attraction expert. I help strong, successful women find balance in love, life, and business. And I'm also a passionate champion for the divine feminine. And every day I do these talks called Messages from the Masculine to inspire the feminine heart. And today's topic, um, well it's number 424 by the way, which is well over a year's worth. And today's topic is in a way self-promotion, but it's also explaining the difference because a lot of people, to be blunt, have no clue why they want to want to get help finding love and relationships. So I figured, why not talk about it? So. I'm talking about <laughs> it took me 424 broadcasts to get to that point so you know what can I say so um, I'll start with the downside of doing the smartphone apps the swipe dating app type situations because there's plenty of things that aren't working with them now let me preface this by saying this if you don't care about love and a relationship you just want to get sex and get laid then there's no need to watch this broadcast because this is not about that because the thing is with the dating apps that's often what you end up getting is sex and just having fun without any depth, connection or intimacy. That's one of the many um, issues <laughs> with the dating apps that are out there. And I'm conglomerate, conglomerating, is that a word? I guess it is. Bring them all together and putting them in one bucket versus calling out any particular application or app or site because there's a spectrum. And so for some of you are going to say, well, yeah, but this app's better than that app or this site's better than that site. I, I understand that. I was speaking generally, generally about how these apps work and the pitfalls of using them versus working in a much deeper way with someone like myself. Are we clear? Okay, this should, this should take too long. <laughs> so I'll get to the point quickly. So one of the things I mentioned about the dating apps is a lot of times they limit the, the best you're going to hope for getting from them is someone to have sex with, which may be all you want, in which case rock on this. What, 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 what works for you, then so be it. But more than that, there's other pieces. For a start, I, I did a meme the other day that got some people upset, which is a pretty good thing. I said, and this is this was using a dating app in its, in its meme, was basically um, it's under, the, under the modern dating memes I put out last week, and one of them was about how you can find a husband on Tinder, because there are plenty of husbands on Tinder. And the challenge with dating apps in general, dating sites, is a lot of times people don't portray themselves authentically, honestly, and truthfully, which means you may be dating someone who's not free to be in a relationship. They could be with somebody else. Now, I'm not saying necessarily men or women, because both genders do this. They could be looking to cheat. So that's one thing to be aware of, actually, it's the second thing to be aware of. Third thing is that the dating apps, um, I can say this in a nice way, are often home to um, predators, I'll put it that way. Now, this, this also includes the understanding that there are people who spam and joke and mess around, but there's also people who catfish. There are people out there who are looking to entrap people to get money out of people. There are so many stories online, if you can research yourself, where someone someone fell in love with, some, with a person on uh, one of these apps who ended up extorting money from them. So there's lots of reasons why the dating apps don't work. Now again, if you want something simple out of the dating apps, you can probably get it. Yes, there are success stories on the dating apps and sites where they met somebody met the love of their life and got married. But let me be clear. The percentages of people who have amazing success with dating apps compared with those who don't is microscopic. There are so few success stories ultimately, and just, that's just the way it is. And, and I'm being honest because there's a, um, I can say this, there's a, <laughs> let's use the word patina, but there's a, there's a sheen over these apps, <laughs> I'm being polite that basically make it look like they're perfect, easy, and so so great. The reason they're great is because they're convenient. They're in, the hand, in your hand in a phone. You can, you can tap, swipe, whatever, very quickly. But let me ask you this question. Are you really looking for a relationship that could be that quickly decided with one swipe of your right hand finger, or your right index finger, or your thumb, or whatever you're using? Let me, let me make it simpler. Do you value your love life enough to go beyond just a swipe? That sounds better. And if you do, then listen up. Because I want to explain why working with somebody like myself, and I'm saying, I'm using me in this example, because it's my broadcast, but I would say this probably covers other relationship coaches, experts, matchmakers, people like that who are human, to give you a better direction, 
more clarity and result. Because, let me put a little um, an example so much as, as a, we'll see if it's a metaphor, we'll play with this. So here's some ideas. How would you like to try to learn how to fly a helicopter without someone teaching you? And people think, I don't need help for relationships, I know what I'm doing. Based on results, I would suggest that for most people out there, including myself for many years ago, being, being um, successful in a relationship was a hit and miss affair at best. And oftentimes it sucked because of the, <laughs> the painful ways they ended, of the confused ways they worked, of the conflicted experience of being in them. There's so many things in relationships that don't work, but we gloss over those. Now, for most people, again, not to make you particularly, but people you know, um, their past relationships may be somewhat covered under another veneer or another um, patina, as the word I used, of apparent okayness. That, that, that now you're out of them, you go, it wasn't so bad. If you look back and you look at the experience directly, you'll see how painful and upsetting it was. So getting some skills and learning how to do these right from somebody who's got some skills to teach you makes a whole lot more sense than just blindly stumbling into it through a dating app or whatever it is. It's like you wouldn't want to learn how to fly a helicopter with a, with a swipe app, would you? I'm using that idea as a bad metaphor, but that's the understanding. It takes training, it takes help. And if you want to have a healthy relationship, and you're not going to play the odds, which are generally working against you, then to have someone at your side who guides you over that minefield to where you want to go makes a whole lot of sense. You know, if you're someone who's looking to build a new business, it, work, it's good, it makes sense to work with a business coach. And if you want to get healthy, working with somebody who's a dietitian or a health instructor or a personal trainer would help you get healthy. There are all these things we do in our lives where we get help from some other expert who knows more than we do, ideally, who knows more, at least knows enough to help us get where we want to go. And when it comes to relationships, we don't bother. And that, to me, is a really strange thing. It's almost like we've been told that we don't know enough about business, so we should get help from somebody. And we've been told that to get healthy, we need to seek outside help because they know more than we do, so we must get help from those people. When it comes to relationships, we don't get told that maybe somebody else knows more than we do. We somehow assume that we'll just blindly stumble on and we'll do trial and error, like Russian roulette, as I used to call it, playing Russian roulette with your romance. That was my little triple R alliteration. But that was the thing we would do. And we'd think that was normal. And it would take us three years in a bad relationship, and two years in a bad relationship, and six months in a bad relationship. And we'd be six, seven years down the road and not any better off. So to get counsel, guidance from somebody who knows what they're doing, whether it's a therapist or a coach, or as I call myself, a relationship attraction expert, because I hate the word coaching, frankly. Makes a whole lot of sense when you look at this from the point of view that you want to change your life, where you want to go from what you've been doing, and you know that you don't know how to do it yourself. And the first step is admitting that you don't know how to do it yourself, and that's key for a lot of people. They think, oh, just go and meet somebody else. And they're not willing to face the fact that maybe, just maybe, they don't really know, really know what they're doing. Because we never get taught. The model we have from our parents, for most of us, was not the best teaching tool to help us attract relationships that we want. In fact, in fact, and if you've watched my broadcast before, I've talked about this in a few times, is that we are imprinted by our parents. And for most of us, that wasn't a good thing. And so our relationship skills that we got from our parents were um, at best survivable, <laughs> at worst highly dysfunctional. So our dating life was impacted dramatically by what we learn as kids. So it would make a whole lot of sense to get counsel and guidance from somebody who's actually done some study, training, learning. Not necessarily somebody who's been through lots of mistakes themselves, but well, that helps in some ways, but somebody that actually's done the due diligence. Here's the piece. This is why, sorry, I have to say this. This is why working with me or another relationship coach or ex expert is better than dating apps. Is that for 30 years, actually over 30 years now, I've been very invested, involved, and immersed in the study of human development and psychology with personal growth all these different teaching studies because I didn't know how to do it right. And I was passionate about learning how to fix it. Most people, just to be honest, will not pursue the path I followed to change their own dating life. So I figured it makes sense. In fact, it's my calling to serve others who didn't want to spend the 30 years I, I spent learning how to do these different things. That's why my book and my abundant Facebook lives are there to support you because I have to keep sharing stuff I know because I know that it helps people. And in fact, I've seen people out there respond and pe people have become clients, but also people have learned from one or two of my broadcasts that changed their lives. 
And I'm not saying this out of ego, I'm saying it out of compassion. Because for me personally, it's so challenging to watch relationships that go south. For me personally, when I see friends of mine choose a relationship where they get hurt, wounded and abused, it really distresses me because I, I know they can have better and they're choosing less than that. And as much as I want to intervene and like separate the two of them, it's not my job, not at that point. However, when somebody wants to come work with me and they want to do the work, then we can go deep, we can have amazing results and their life will be transformed and I get to do what I love doing. So it's a win-win. <laughs> so that was kind of what I wanted to put on the table is this simple and succinct understanding that the dating apps path is a quick fix, but it's like a band-aid, it doesn't last long. They're working with somebody who knows stuff, <laughs> lots of stuff that's useful, at least I think so, and certainly for my clients benefit they do, is a much more powerful way to get the work done, to actually transform your life into being the right place to attract the right relationship, and to not settle for less than you deserve, because for many of you, for many of you, you've made bad choices over your life, and let me say this another way. For many of us, because <laughs> I've done it too in the past, we've made bad choices in our life. And I've got to the point where I'm never going to do that again. And I know enough now to know how not to do that again. And if you want to know how to do that, you got to work with me. <laughs> so I hope this makes sense. And, and, and it's not a pitch as much as it's just a reminder that the choices you make can be made from a lack of knowledge or from a more abundant knowledge. And this is true of any area of your life. But I'm using this in the area of relationship because this is my particular wheelhouse. And so if you want to find out how to work with me, the simple way to do that is you go to my website, which is my name, barryselby.com. Well, my name isn't .com, but it's, you know, you know what I mean. And you sign up for a discovery session. And that's on the left-hand side of the menu. There's a little thing that says, let's chat. Click that. Choose a time. Fill out the information and sign up. That's the best way to find out what I can offer you. It's also where I can find out what you want if I can help you with it because I won't sign up with everybody. Let me be clear about that. One, I've got the time. And two, it's not working for me if I don't serve somebody who wants to serve themselves. Clear? And if you think that this is something that you want to do more of, reach out to me. I'm not saying this to say everyone should work with me. In fact, I've got a clear right now. My commitment is to three new clients each month. That's it. I have a plan that's coming to motion. So if you want to work with me, there's a limited amount of spaces, just to be clear. I'm not saying that from the point of view of... of um, limitation but there are only three so if you want one of those talk to me now if you haven't seen my broadcast before by the way this is my daily Facebook live initially it also goes onto YouTube and also onto podcasts I'll tell you those and how they work so I do this on Facebook live because it's a much more um, raw real unscripted in the moment type of video venue versus YouTube where I prepare ahead of time so these are the ones that are for real they're my, me talking to you as I would talk to my friends and if you want to find my other broadcasts on Facebook, I save them on my business page, which is barryselby.author. I also then put them onto YouTube, although if there's any comments that were on, that were on Facebook Live, you wouldn't see them, and so be it. But on my YouTube channel, which is Barry Selby, again, the playlist is Messages from the Masculine. And on my podcast, which I've now launched on, on iTunes, you can go to Messages from the Masculine and start downloading my podcast if you want to listen to my broadcast when you're driving or doing other things where you can't look at the phone. Make sense? So that is it. Um, if you have any questions, reach out to me. If you want help, reach out to me. If this makes sense to you, let me know. Give me a thumbs up or some notes in the comments. I want to make this very succinct because I want to make sure you get the point about this. You can go and use the dating app as much as you want. However, if you want to change the way you do things, get some help. I'll see you tomorrow with something different, probably. Um, the only homework is consider this for yourself. No other homework besides that. By the way, I do invite you to check out my yesterday's broadcast because that was a big piece of it too. Um, it was called Broken Agreements, The Silent Killer. Yeah, so watch that replay, it's pretty deep. And I'll see you again tomorrow. So take care of yourselves and thanks for watching.